Hi everybody, EB here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video will see the final part of our YouTube series begin. Um, my PC is finally turned up in a usable state. I bought this HP Elite Desk 705 G3 small form factor PC off of eBay for £27.50. That's about $30 US. There's plenty of these still readily available on eBay and the seller is absolutely fantastic so you can buy uh, with utter confidence. This little PC is absolutely unbreakable. Um, you know, it's a professional desktop computer. It's tiny, it's a small form factor. It's got all the connectivity that you want. The only thing that it is missing, which is a pain in the backside, is um, an HDMI port. It does have two display ports however a bit of a pain in the arse is it has to buy a display to hdmi adapter but hey look not the end of the world is it really uh so what did it get with this pc so we got an amd a6 dual core processor running at 3.9 gigahertz it's two core two thread Maximum RAM capacity is 64 gig. It actually came with 4 gigabytes of RAM. USB 2, USB 3.1 VGA display port. Um, no uh, hard disk drive and no operating system, which is fine. So in use, but very good condition. The actual PC that I've got that arrived is immaculate series. There's not even a speck of dust on it. Um, so we've got an AM Pro A69500 accelerated processor with AMD Raiden R5 graphics up to 3.8 gigahertz max boost, 3.5 gig base. Um, we've got two cores, two threads, uh, despite it saying two cores, six rate. So it's saying we've got two cores, two threads and six cores for the Radeon graphics. Um, DDR4 RAM up to 2133 megahertz. Uh, it comes with 4 gig of RAM uh, inbuilt, blah, 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 and that's it. You're done. So I went ahead and bought it. What And that cost me $30. So what else did I buy to go with it? Well, I also bought an HDMI to um, DisplayPort adapter, which cost me £3.45. So that takes us up to 30 quid. For the PC and the adapter, 30 quid. I then bought um, a 256 gigabyte SATA SSD for 13.99. So that puts us up to, for argument's sake, 44 quid. I then bought, which you don't have to buy, um, an AMD Raiden HD 64 51 gigabyte low profile graphics card for a tenner. Uh, so for 54 quid, 54 quid, which is what? I don't know, $60, $60. We've got ourselves a complete family PC. Not bad. So that's what we're dealing with. This is what you're looking at right here. So onto this PC, I did put Zorin OS Lite um, as I wanted an Ubuntu-based operating system. You can see everything here. AMD Pro A69500 at 3.5 gig. We've got an AMD Raiden as well as the AMD Raiden inbuilt graphics. We're actually using this one gigabyte graphics card because uh, the inbuilt graphics, I think, are 500 meg. So I specifically wanted this as a media PC and also to have some fun with and see what we can actually get out of it now the pc did come with four gigs of ram i'd got a spare four gig of ram stick laying about so i've upgraded it to eight gigs of dual channel ddr4 ram four gigs would have been absolutely fine uh, and this is what we've ended up with so for 60 us dollars we've got ourselves a family pc we've not had to pay for the operating system we've put zorin os on there I'm now over the coming series going to have a go at tackling what most families would want to do. Everything from, you know, Facebook and um, social networking through to media, watching movies, watching live streams, that sort of thing. YouTube, Twitch, all this sort of stuff. This little PC is absolutely capable of. It's silent. $60. I mean, what are you getting today for $60? 
apart from a great family PC. You can't go wrong. And small form factor as well. Uh, and I'll do as much as I possibly can. We're going to do a mixture of um, repo software and flat pack software as well, just to see how we go with that. Um, in terms of Firefox, well, Zorin OS comes with Firefox installed out of the box, and it is a flat pack version, I believe. Could be wrong, but I'm sure it is the flat pack version. Uh, if I go to my YouTube, <clears throat> you can see the speed at with which it's working off the little SATA SSD. Uh, two core, two thread uh, CPU is quite old. It's an A series, so it's not a Ryzen or anything like that. Nevertheless, once it gets in its stride, it's absolutely fine. The PC, as I say, is 100% silent. I don't think that's bad value for money, people just my opinion but i really don't um now unfortunately this little raiden graphics card uh does not support this monitor's max resolution um so i've had to cut it down a bit so if we go to the display as you can see the maximum resolution is 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz it won't support 25 60 14 40 at 144 hertz funnily enough <laughs> funnily enough the inbuilt graphics chip does <laughs> just saying so this could have been 25 60 14 42 k videos uh however i think the little raiding graphics card for a tenor um just really helps the pc out not that it needs that much um helping out anyway uh, i did go ahead and install the system monitoring center from uh, flatpak as you can see, the two core, two thread CPU, well, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be busy, isn't it? It's an old two core, two thread. Mm. So you've not got a lot of crunching power there. Um, the RAM is absolutely fine. But in terms of um, daily PC use, it should be fantastic. So there you go, everybody. Um, our little PC is up and running. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked English pop video.